the Empress. Welcome back to my channel. Let's see what the messages are for you, November 18 and 19 for the Empress. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node for Libra, the Empress. Okay, Libra, the Empress, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node. Next 48, November 18 and 19 for the Empress. Scales, Justice, Karma, Law. Okay, what is the message for the scales? The law for justice, okay? Libra, sun, moon, rising, and north node. Okay, we have the chariot popping out, okay? So charging ahead, courage, conviction, via yeah, eight of cups moving on. So you're moving on. Or some of you are moving or relocating. If that's not the case, then you are definitely moving forward with your life. You're moving on and you're charging ahead with conviction. You are ready to go Libra yeah the yeah some of you could be walking away from a specific job title or something that you do maybe you wanted to do something else or the, or, or something or some of you are traveling for work it's different for everybody okay I'm sorry I'm waiting for I'm waiting for somebody to okay yeah so um anyways um yeah this is this is definitely charging ahead all right, um, moving ahead with, with courage. I mean, the chariot is having courage, strength, okay? This is this is also excitement. So you're also excited about something or you're moving on for so whatever it is, okay? Because it's different for everybody. I seem like it seems as though, or it appears that you're ready for this change or you're wanting it to happen or, or something like that, okay? But I feel like with the chariot coming up out first, this is about being victorious. This is about being successful. This is about some of you could be a truck driver. Okay. This is, this is, um, yeah, this is willpower, strength, being assertive. This is somebody that is in control. Okay. You're getting your way and you're, you're, this is definitely travel. Okay. By vehicle possibly, but it could be something different. Okay. But you're, but you're looking out for you. Yeah, I see. So it's 111 right now. Okay, 111. Let's see what that card is for you, Libra. Yep, here it is. So it was meant to be. It says, um, we also have 222 that showed up on the clock here on my phone. So we're going to read both. 111. Angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. I am creative. So I'm getting you're very creative here. Or you're creating something here. Okay. What else um, for Libra before we finish? Because I saw 222, two, two, so I feel like that that's a significant... Yeah, here it is. It says, trust that the seeds, your thoughts are, the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nurturing them with words, feelings, and action. I am balanced. That's you, Libra. The scales, I am balanced. There you are in your element. Feeling good. Okay? We'll see if any other messages show up, but let's keep going here. So I feel like you're you're you have courage and conviction, like you're moving ahead, my nigga, and you ain't letting nothing or nobody stop you. You understand what I'm saying? You have a lot of willpower and determination here. I really do, really do feel that it's like an old, overwhelming feeling of you being determined here to get to get to your mark or what you want. Yeah, three, three, three. As I said that. So you have one, 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 two, 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 and three, three, three. So steps, okay? But you have a lot of support here. It says, I am creative, I am balanced. And let's see, three, three, three is usually our angels and guides protecting us. I think, yeah, it's right here. Okay, it says, I am powerful. Wow. You are also powerful. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. And that's a period. And that's what you're being or what you are. Okay, yeah, again, 333 three, three showing up right here. A lot of threes, that's protection. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect your power to manifest and create will be heightened. Oh, expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. Damn, I am expanding. So you're on some expanding type shit, uh, Libra. What else, man? Yeah, it, it, that, that card is beautiful, okay? It says any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect your power to manifest and create and create. Uh, expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I am expanding. You better go, Libra. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords flipping over and the Nine of Cups. So you are really doing your fucking thing here, Libra, okay? 
You are manifesting what you want. I'm getting a new idea. Clarity being victorious here. The Ace of Swords is being victorious. The Nine of Cups is getting what you want. You're getting what you want in a situation. Using your talents and your creativity. And the way this eight is sticking out right here. I am successful. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. Wow. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. Wow. So there's nothing that you, 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 you don't desire or any, there's nothing you desire. You can't have if you desire it. The universe is telling you that they're co co conspiring with you to have this because you deserve it. Yeah, we have the two of cups. This could be a love situation or a reconciliation with someone. Could be a cancer. Doesn't have to be. Okay, yeah, the magician, your skills, man. Yeah, Aries or Aries. Or you could have this highly aspected. But your, your skills, your skills is on point. Now I'm seeing five, five, five. Wow. So you have one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and five. And here it is right here. It says a major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your past direction. Be open and stay positive. I am optimistic. So major change is happening. But I feel like this is like for, for the good. Like really, really, really for the good. Like you are... You are on to something here. Yeah, okay. You are really on to something here. Yeah, we have the three of wands. So this is about the future, expecting the, uh, something good to come in. You could third wands looks to the sun. So your ships are co uh, coming in or a shipment is here. I feel like you need to get your shipment, go to your mailbox or you have a parcel pending, pending or something like that is what I'm hearing. All right, but something seems to be looking up for you, Libra. I feel like you have a lot of good karma and good energy around you, okay? Oh, look at you coming out, the Empress. There you go, Libra. Looking beautiful. This is creating something, birthing something. You need to do that. If you want to birth something or do something here, go ahead and do that shit. Birth it, do it, create it, or whatever. Why not? You can do it. And it's going to be successful here as well. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. A lot of abundance here. A lot of um, happiness, joy. This could be with um, with family. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, the Ten of Cups is showing up now and Three of Pentacles. So I do feel like this is regarding your work. You have a lot of happiness here coming in. Uh, or a lot of people are happy with you. A lot of abundance. Ten of Cups is being fulfilled emotionally, physically, financially, and spiritually in every aspect of your life. But the Ten of Pentacles is here as well. So so a lot of changes happening for the good. I feel like somebody wants a family here with you too. Or they want to work with you with the Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody at a distance. Somebody that's watching you. Somebody that wants to reconcile. Or this could be somebody new. But I feel like somebody wants long term with you. You have a Hermit Virgo energy. Somebody is wanting something uh, very much long term with you here, Libra. Okay, I saw eight oh eight on the clock, so we're gonna read that card if it's in the deck. We're gonna re we're gonna read and see what that is. This is a whole a whole deck. I mean, a whole thing of um, cards flipped over, and I'm not taking that. So let's see what eight oh eight is. I don't think eight oh eight is in the deck though. I think it's on the eight, like eight 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 one eight. I don't think it's 808 here, but you can still go look it up. That number does mean abundance. A lot of it. A lot of it. You already have the number eight here. And that and you and that says I am successful. So a lot of abundance around you. Okay. You have nothing to worry about, Empress. 848. Eight. That's another number of abundance. If you go look these up, that's what they would tell you. 818. I mean, um, yeah, 808 eight and 818 is what you need to go look up. Because I don't think that I have those numbers in my deck. If I did, I would be reading them for you. But I always go look up angel numbers that I see. A lot of eights around you. An infinity number. A lot of abundance. Okay. A lot of support. Libra, November 18 and 19 for Libra. And now I'm seeing 919. So 808, 818, and 919. Okay. It's here. So you can go look up, you can go look up those numbers. We have the emperor yet. Yeah. Oh, the emperor and the empress. Wow. Aries energy. Aries here. Um, and um, Libra energy and cancer energy is here. But I feel like Libra, okay. 
I definitely feel like, uh, yeah, there's a connection. Two of Cups, Emperor and the Empress, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Somebody wants, yeah, Nine of Cups. Something is so emotionally fulfilling. You're going from the Nine to the Ten. So you keep just getting happier and happier, feeling more fulfilled, abundant, and blessed. You have a very bright future ahead of you with the Three of Wands. I also feel like in a, it, something is coming in here quickly. Oh, my gosh. And the Lovers deeply in love yeah the nine of pentacles and the justice with the high priestess i feel like you're 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 going from being single to being in a relationship here yeah the justice is called for this is your justice libra that's you being single being independent self-sufficient being very wealthy being the empress you're gonna live a life of this and nobody can take it from you Okay, but I feel like with the lovers and the emperor and the empress, somebody's madly and deeply in love with you. Yeah, the two of wands, somebody is choosing you. Now we're going from the three of wands to the two. So where there could have been a third party situation, I feel like it's no longer that. Someone only has eyes for you, two of cups, two of wands. Somebody's obsessed with coming towards you. Someone where somebody was like waiting and trying to figure out or waiting for something to come towards them. Now someone's going to take action with the two of wands. I also feel like a very good idea that you're coming up with, Libra. Something is really good here for you in your business or something like that. Something's going to, yeah, the Six of Cups. I feel like somebody from the past possibly could be wanting to come in here. Okay? But I, I also feel like whatever this decision is you're making, it's a very good one. You're going to get a lot of support here. Someone's, someone's going to do like a kind gesture for you with the Six of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting your resources. You, you, you have like so much support and so many resources given to you by the universe. I also feel like, um, yeah, we have the King of Wands. Yeah. You're going to have a choice between like an Emperor Empress connection and, and then a King of Wands. Yeah, because the Lovers is a choice. And I feel like you're going to have to make one between two people and what you want here. Yeah, and this could be this King of Swords. Look, you have the Emperor, King of Wands, and King of Swords. You have a lot of motherfuckers wanting you, seeing emotional fulfillment with you. A lot of motherfuckers see you as like, they're, they're the one for them. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, yeah. The Knight of Cups is here. So someone's apologizing. This could be this person from the past that's coming back in. And then you have a new love interest that's, that's coming in. Yeah, the four, yeah, the Six of Cups and the Four of Cups. So this is somebody from the past, all right, that is apologizing. This could be a King of Wands that wants to come in here and apologize. Somebody that may have had a lot of options or, or, or put you as an option or thought they were, because I feel like it's over. That, or they thought they could do that. Nah. And now it's over. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Now somebody wants to come in and work with you. But I, I feel like you're already working with this Emperor Empress connection. But somebody from the past wants to come back out and work with you or work it out. What's the Seven of Cups? Somebody feels like a, yeah, somebody was a foolish, very reckless. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Now someone's out in the cold. Somebody wants to start over. They're out in the cold. Somebody wants to, somebody may, that may have been in Knight of Wands energy in the past. Knight of Cups, very seductive and, and likes to seduce people. Now they want to grow up King of Wands. Now they, they're, they don't want these options or they got left out in the cold or these cups were empty. Now they want a new beginning with you. They want to work it out with you. But I'm getting your, you're happy here. The Two of Cups um, and the um, Lovers. You're happy here. Yeah, this is a very deep emotional connection. Yeah, this lover's connection. I feel like there was love with this past person, but that that's over. Okay? Yeah, that, that's... Oh, what's the lover's seven of cups? Yeah, because somebody has a lot of options. They're very promiscuous here. Or this is you. Yeah, somebody was juggling you. Two of pentacles. Okay? Or they thought that they could do this. And you walked away and you moved on. Now you're in a new connection, Emperor Empress, with your match. And somebody could be seeing this and they're mad. Yep, the five of swords. A lot of mind games, jealousy. Yeah, the somebody's stalking your ass. Palace swords, judgment in the world is over. And the five of wands, you're no longer with the competition. Or you're, you're, The empress cannot be put in competition. She is the highest in the deck. She embodies every queen, just like the emperor. There's no need to, to, to compare because there is no comparison. The number 1414 14 just showed up. So let me read what that card is in the deck. And that equals up to 10 if you add it up. And 10s are numbers of completion. So let's see what the number 14 is because they're calling me to see. All right. This is a message for you, Libra. All right. 14. Where are you at? I hope it's not all the way in the back and I went through all these goddamn cards. Yep, it is. 
So we have 14. You are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time. Attention and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. And I feel like you make practical decisions. You don't jump into sit. You're not going to allow somebody to come towards you. Yeah, 222, master number, okay? You are in possession and you are in possession of incredible creative powers. And it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. I am aligned. And you're not going to allow somebody to come back in to, um, to disrupt that. Somebody you already know how they are. Yeah, the Ten of Swords is over. All right. Yeah. The death card, any sort of somebody thought they had you trapped or under their spell or they thought that they were confusing you or they're trying to. It, it keeps breaking or it's not working. This person is like, look at them. I feel like somebody's being haunted and attacked by the universe every time they try to do something towards you behind the scenes, physically, whatever. Somebody is like, it's just not working. The death is over. It could be a Scorpio. OK, this situation is over with this person from the past. It could be an Aries or a Cancer or whoever the fuck it is or a Gemini. It, it's just it's just not going to work. You don't see this person is worth your fucking time at all. OK, they play too many games or they do too much or somebody likes to have a lot of options. Yeah, I've seen the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, but, but these but no, nothing compares to the Empress. And this person played themselves. Now they feel like a fucking clown. Now they're stuck or trapped or they're broke or they need your help. And you're like, no. What's the, um, yeah, you, you, you're completely emotionally detached. Eight of fucking cups. It's over. Because you have the king of pentacles here. And I feel like this emperor king of pentacles is the same thing. Yeah, the five of cups, somebody lost. They lost you. They're, they're, they're grasping their chest. They can't believe this shit. Yeah, the palace of wands. Yeah. I feel like this King of Pentacles Emperor motherfucker is the same person that that um is here. Or this could be two separate people. What's the King of Pentacles Palace of Wands? The Three of Cups. Yeah, so this could be another energy where somebody's very passionate about you and wanted to reconcile with you, Libra. You're never short of any um of any suitors here. I feel like you 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 uh this person from the past could have been a connection king to the Queen of Wands. A very passionate one, but somebody is like a loser or they're sexual or they're just a no for you. And then you have this emperor. I feel like this person's coming in like on the same page. And then you got a king of pentacles wanting to reconcile. Or this could be the same person. The same person, the emperor and the king of pentacles. Okay. That, that wants to reconcile or settle down with you. Yeah, this is somebody that's very, very much well off, but they may not be telling you how much money they have. Or you may not give a fuck as long as somebody knows how to treat you. The fuck? Of course you want somebody stable. I mean, you are. You are the empress, but you want somebody that's going to treat you well. Now you have another king showing up. King of Swords, Eight of Wands. You have a lot of kings. Every king has shown up for you, Libra. You have a lot of motherfuckers who want this with you. Who, who want a relationship with you. Who want to be with you. Who see you as their perfect match. I mean, the empress is never short of suitors. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands and the Palace of Swords. Yeah, a lot. When I say this is a palace of people, a, a group, an entourage, 1808. I'm going to read what the 18 card is. Of people, yeah, Six of Pentacles that are supporting you, that's attracted to you. I'm definitely getting a, a, a new endeavor or something new that you're doing here. Yeah, the Moon card. I definitely feel like you have a secret admirer. This could be somebody that follows you or that you follow or whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands. And the strength with the nine of wands. I feel like somebody's trying to break you too, Libra. Trying to break you and it's just not working. Yeah, the judgment. Because you're in your calling. You're, it's just not going to work. And the sun card. Look at you. You can have in the ace of pentacles. Look at you. One more time now. Ace of cups. Look at that. Look at that. A lot of creative new endeavors, a lot of new people that you're meeting. You're meeting like worthy connections are coming into your life. Motherfuckers that see you as the one for them. We have the king to the queen of pentacles with the four of wands here. And then we have the emperor and the empress, which I feel is the same. You you two are the same because I've been getting that a lot in the readings. But then you have this king of wands you were a match with as well because the queen of wands showed up. But that's over. That's dead and that's done with the death card. That ended. What's the death card over here with this person? Yeah, with a cancer, somebody that's a liar. Yep, seven of swords, a sneak, a liar, a con, a cheater. Could be a water sign. That's over. That's that's lost. 
somebody did not respect you or somebody did not want to commit. They, they wanted to have you as an option, bitch. And they're realizing all them cups is empty. Like, what the fuck did I do? They feel dumb. Dumb as fuck. Whether they ever admit it or not, they feel stupid as fuck. What's the five of cups? You know I'm going to go in for my Libras. Okay, I need to read the 18 card as well. Yeah, the six of swords. Someone is heartbreaking, broken because you have moved on. And with the eight of cups, you're emotionally detached as well. The eight to the 10 of cups, you found your happiness or you're going to. Yeah, the, the nine of pentacles and the strength, you're strong by yourself. You're, it could be, you could have Leo highly aspected or Virgo or whatever. Okay, you don't need the bullshit or the fuck shit. You're gonna focus on this. Th this is beautiful. The emperor and the empress with the higher font when I open the deck. This is marriage and it's coming in fast. Eight of wands and the star. I also feel like you're progressing really fast. You're really taking your place in the world. I'm getting like an overnight success or what appears to be that. But nothing is overnight. You, are, you, you have to work. But I feel like something's going to take you by surprise. There is somebody here trying to destroy your empire. But I feel like you have too much love. Palace of Cups, too much support. It's just not going to work. Someone's disappointed because you're, you're not short of support. Like they were hoping. Yeah, the nine of swords, they're worried. Yep, the world is over. And the three of swords, their heartbroken. Seven of wands is done. King of swords, and you're standing your fucking ground. You're at peace and you're moving forward. Being independent, single, and self-sufficient. Until this emperor or empress comes in and makes an offer. And I feel like you're going to be open to it. Ace of cups, wands, and pentacles. This person is going to make you very happy. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Okay, two of cups is here. What the? Sorry, guys. Okay, if that went out for a second. All right. But yeah, let me read the 18 card. I feel like somebody's trying to. Yeah, here it is right here. So it's meant for you. Okay, you are both open minded and open hearted and your ambition to leave this world better than you found it. Wait, you are both open-minded and open-hearted, and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. I am kind-hearted. You are so kind-hearted, Libra, the Empress. Okay, you want to make this world a better place before you leave it. You want some other shit, and this clown shit, this clown person from the past, it's a fuck no for you. And that's okay. It can be a fuck no. 222 right here, 2206. You are in possession of incredible creative powers, and in is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. I am aligned. You are aligned. And then 8-8, eight, eight, you are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. You are very wealthy and you're going to live a very wealthy life. Okay? Yeah, I am ingenious. You're a genius too. Yeah, you have great leadership skills. And master number 333, three, three, I am expanding. Wow, I am adventurous. So I really feel like you're ready to take your place in the world. You're like, shit, I'm down. Let's go. Okay? Yeah. All right. So there you go. All right? Winning, baby. And keep winning. I love you, Libras. Okay? Keep doing your thing, Empress. Okay? Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.